What's up guys, Brian here with BPS Customs and we are finally at our very first meeting for CES 2020. We're here at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. We're gonna go inside the Corsair suite. We're gonna do their press event first and then later on we're gonna go back in, check out things in a little more detail. But this press event should be a really good way to kind of see what they've been working on for the entire year and what they have planned coming up for 2020. So let's get into it. BPS Customs coverage of CES 2020 is made possible by Corsair and their Virtuoso line of wireless gaming headsets. Featuring premium build quality, superior 24-bit audio with 7.1 surround, 20 hours of battery life and all day comfort, the Virtuoso and Virtuoso SE headsets are also sporting the best headset microphone we've ever tested. They're the easy choice for discerning PC games enthusiasts. Check out the link below to learn more. All right, guys, so we just got out of the Corsair press event. There were a couple different segments that they wanted to talk about, and I got all these notes here on my phone, but they just acquired Scuff Gaming. So they gave us a little bit of a demo of what Scuff Gaming is all about, because there honestly are some people who probably aren't all that familiar with them, but they do make like uh, custom PC and console controllers. They have a lot of modular features, swappable thumbsticks, swappable face plates, removable vibration modules, things like that. Uh, they have a new product called the XO Scuff. It supports proper posture. It's an inflatable pillow. Basically, it sits on your lap. It uh, kind of directs your elbows and wrists to be in the right location so that you're not slouching or anything like that. It looked moderately interesting and they actually gave us one of them so maybe i'll test it out at a later time and a lot of the stuff that we're talking about or i'm going to reference right now we're going to take a closer look at when we go over and see their actual suite so we're going to have some hands-on time some demos and stuff like that we could film a little bit later so you guys have a better idea of what exactly i'm talking about just not just notes on my phone the uh, the second thing that the second group of products that they wanted to talk about was origin pc now they acquired origin pc uh, last year and they've been slowly integrating a lot of their Corsair products into Origin PC, most notably their Hydro X series of custom water cooling. And a lot of their PCs now that they're building on the higher end are using full custom loops, their own distro blocks and stuff like that. But the big announcement from Origin PC was actually that they're bringing back something they call the Big O. Now, weird name aside, because everybody likes a big O. This is the 2020 edition, and it's not only built in a PC and a gaming console, so you could choose from uh, Xbox or PS4, but the old big O used to be in a case that was absolutely enormous. And this is gonna come in a Corsair 280X. So it's a micro ATX chassis that has both a PC and a gaming console. It's gonna be available uh, really soon, starting at $24.99, or actually it should be available by the time you see this video. Uh, and obviously you could scale up from there because it's gonna be a customizable PC. You could choose your components. So not only are you getting a fully customizable PC, but you're also getting uh, an Elgato uh, 4K60 game capture and a PS4 or an Xbox. So you could game on both at the same time and they're all liquid cooled, all in the same enclosure. It sits in a really small spot on your desk actually looks really cool and we should be able to check that out again when we go into the Corsair suite a little bit later. Next up was Elgato and they actually had a couple of updates on their Stream Deck software that they are using with their Stream Deck hardware. The software now is free and is compatible with the Corsair K95 keyboards. You can actually map Stream Deck functions to the macro keys of the K95 so you actually don't need at all an actual Stream Deck to use that functionality, which I thought was pretty neat and kind of a bonus for people who already have the K95. It just automatically works and that should be available today for free. They're also introducing the Keylight Air, which is a smaller, uh, compact version of their Keylight. Comes with its own stand, it's adjustable. It has mobile app integration. It's $129, available January 15th. They have a 4K 60S Plus capture solution, which is an external 4K HDR recorder, has a built-in SD card slot, no PC required. So you could use it to capture footage off a PC if you want, but also on a gaming console. It's portable in a sense that you can move it between locations. You could take it to a friend's house or something like that and record footage there because it uses its own built-in SD card slots. So you don't have to worry about recording to something else and then move it back to your house, record your own footage and then broadcast it from there. Uh, that is gonna be available uh, Q1 for $400, so not cheap, but does provide a good amount of functionality. And they also teased something called Project Wave, which is, I think, a USB microphone with a couple additional pieces of functionality. They were kind of coy about that, um, but they did show it off and they said it is coming uh, soon, spring 2020. Big development from IQ is that now it's going to be integrated with ASUS motherboards. So you can use IQ now to control your ASUS functionality for your lighting on your motherboards, 
I assume with your graphics cards and anything else that uh, Asus AuraSync used to control. Now the software works together. You can control Corsair lighting with Asus AuraSync as well, although you are missing a little bit of the functionality because a lot of the Corsair products have a lot of patterns and crazy colors and stuff like that that Asus AuraSync does not offer. However, instead of using both software to control different parts of your system, you can, you can now use one. That's pretty cool, uh, and apparently it's going to be an exclusive partnership with ASUS for the time being. It's not like Corsair is going to be integrating IQ into all the motherboard software, Gigabyte, MSI, et cetera. That would be nice, and hopefully that is the goal at some point, but for now, ASUS exclusive. So if you have a system with Corsair peripherals, Corsair fans, and ASUS graphics card motherboard, now you can all, all control it from IQ. Corsair also has a couple of new coolers coming out. The biggest one, the one that they were most excited about is their reintroduction to air cooling. It's their A500. It looks like a pretty beefy unit, has two ML fans, comes with a screwdriver like the Be Quiet and uh, Noctua stuff does. Uh, it's available January 6th, has uh, changeable height clearance for the memory, $99. Uh, they said it's going to perform similarly to like the, something like their 240 millimeter AIOs right now, maybe a little bit worse, but to be honest, air coolers are generally going to be outperformed by liquid coolers. It's just the simplicity of that solution is something that a lot of people do want. And as a result, no RGBs on the A500, which is an interesting decision, but actually one that I, I like. And again, we'll have hands on with that at a later time. They're refreshing their line of liquid coolers, both the uh, from the 240, 280 and 360 lines. So now they're H100i, H115i, H115i. RGB Pro XT is the new lineup. They said it's coming with their best pump ever, and it's their best liquid cooling solution ever. I don't know how much it's gonna change from existing solutions. We'll have to test that later. I can't imagine it's gonna be very much different, but they did refresh their lineup with new pumps and you know additional RGB and all that good stuff. The last thing they showed us was called Concept Orion. It was an invisible conductive film that's installed onto tempered glass panels and has their Capellix uh, RGB LEDs in it so that you can actually have lighting on the outside of your case. Again, it's right now in the concept stage and they did mention that it's not gonna be something that you're gonna be able to buy separately. You have to buy a panel with it already installed. However, it is a really cool idea. And the demos that we're showing off actually looked really neat. Thanks so much for watching our Corsair press event video. We're gonna head over to another meeting right now. And like I said, we're gonna have hands on with all this stuff in a later Corsair video. Thank you so much to our sponsors for CES 2020, Thermaltake, Frack Design, and Corsair themselves. Get subscribed to the channel if you are not already, and we'll see you next time. All of our CES videos are edited on the Electronics Mag 15. Check out the link below.